Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for our devotion again this week. We're moving on to James chapter 3 uh, this morning. We're going to look at verses 1 to 5a, the first half of verse 5. James 3 verse 1 to the first half of verse 5. Do not, many of you, become teachers, my brothers, knowing that we will receive a stricter judgment, for we all stumble in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man able to bridle the entire body as well. Now if we put the bits into the horse's mouths so that they will obey us, we direct the entire body as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so great and driven by strong winds, they are still directed by a very small rudder, wherever the inclination of the pilot wills. So also the tongue is a small part of the body, and yet it boasts of great things. Teachers in the church, in whatever capacity, uh, whether it's, it's full-time ministry or leading a home cell, teachers in the church are under, the, are stri- are under stricter judgment. Uh, not only are they responsible for themselves, but they're responsible for the people that they're teaching. Not for their sin, but what they are teaching. It should strike fear into any biblical teacher's heart and mind that he would handle the Word of God and be under... Uh, the threat of handling it incorrectly. Now, uh, the quote w- which we know, preach the gospel where necessary, use words, most of us know that, is miscorrectly attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. Now, John MacArthur says of this quote, I don't know who said that, but it's stupid. <laughs> and I would agree with him, because preaching and teaching is fundamentally about words. Uh, we should preach the gospel and be gospel, and because it's necessary, we use words. But that's the point. What words are we using? The tongue is a dangerous thing, and we must learn how to control it. James says we all stumble in many different ways, but a man who doesn't stumble with his tongue is a perfect man. Now that word perfect means a spiritual maturity or spiritual uh, completion, completeness. The tongue, our speech, can seem so small and insignificant at times. But just as a a bridle can control a horse, that little bit that you put in the mouth can control the whole body of a horse. And just as a a tiny rudder in a big mighty ship can tell it where to go, that's what our tongue is like. It can boast of great things. Sometimes it can revive us, sometimes and most often it can completely and utterly ruin us. Our tongues, as little as they are, are extremely important. And we need to learn how to control them. A person who does not stumble in what he says is a spiritually mature man. By merely controlling what we say, we can prevent ourselves from stumbling, and often stumbling hard. In a sense, too, we are also all teachers because we bear witness about God. We call ourselves Christians. Therefore, we must speak in a manner that is worthy of Christ. Even more, those who are teachers of God's word, mind your tongue. As small as it is, it is important and it can bring us to ruin. We need to learn how to control our tongues. When we're preaching and teaching the gospel too, we need to make sure we're controlling our tongues, tongues to live in, firstly, a manner that is worthy of Christ's name. And secondly, that when we are, are uh, speaking the word of God, that we will be saying the right things, righteous things, and not, um, not let it go to ruin because we haven't managed to control our tongue. A man who can control his tongue is a man who is spirit, spiritually mature. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word to us this morning. Thank you for reminding us about the um, the power of the tongue. For those of us who are teachers in whatever capacity, for those of us who call ourselves Christians, Lord, help us to uh, speak in a manner that is worthy of your name. Help us to preach and teach in a manner that is worthy of your name. Lord, it's as small as a tongue is, how often we get it wrong. And so we pray that you will help us to to learn to control our tongues, that uh, our speech will be gentle, that we won't lash out, uh, that we'll think before we speak. And Lord, I pray that you will help us 
to when we do speak, to speak righteousness and truth uh, and not falsehoods and not evil things. Thank you for your spirit that is teaching us to say the right things. Help us to uh, be more, uh, to listen more to what you have to say to us so that we can uh, say the right things at the right time. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.